First pass of the game for Williams. Takes off again. Gets the first down. And inside the 10. Bailey came up to make the hit, but not before he picked up 12. And has been on the ground. And it stays that way. Up and over, and this time he is in. No question about that one for Lowry. And now it's 6-0 Monarchs. Way to make a statement on your opening drive, running the football, not being timid. Stephen Williams, tucking the football away if you didn't see anything, having a des designed run. They've definitely changed up the way that they've come into this football game. Pocket holds. Good stick up the middle. Play because he is such a big body and a tough matchup for linebackers. Big hit. They bring Baker back with White in the backfield. Flag flies. White's got all the time in the world. Heaves it downfield to the end zone. Touchdown, Hilltoppers! Jacquez Sloan, the true freshman, for 44 yards. And it's going to be a touchdown. Outside. Defense number four in the neutral zone at the snap. The penalties declined. Touchdown. How about the momentum shift on that catch from Yelder? and the energy completely on the Hilltopper sideline. Well, you see them bounce back, being able to run the zone read earlier. Mike White comes back into the football game and has a free play. He's able to take that shot downfield and see Jaquez Sloan catch it in the back of the end zone. Last week, he had his first career touchdown. Cox on the handoff, breaks through. Touchdown, Monarchs! Jeremy Cox, his third touchdown of the season. And ODU back in front. Fant into the backfield. And now they send him out wide. White, inside pitch to Yelder into the end zone. Well, it's a pass, just a shovel pass. Nice play design. You see that they play the stretch. They motion out. Easy inside dump for Yelder to come with a touchdown. Baker's doing a, a, a great job of running the football. Eight carries for 45 yards for the running back. White comes out throwing. That's Towner, and he's got all kinds of speed across midfield, and finally shoved out of bounds by Denzel Williams. Yards in the win against Charlotte. White, that's behind the line. Echoes Looper with the pass, and it's Yelder with the catch. Echoes Looper hits the tight end inside the five. Stays in the game. Jernigan in motion. White. It's batted up in the air. And it's intercepted. JoJo Heaton, the redshirt freshman from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. His first career interception. When we talked to Coach Rich Nagy, he said that's one of been the biggest things that we haven't done this season. In 2016, we forced 23 takeaways. Through this game, we've only had five. Key stop, key takeaway for this offense, uh, for this defense of Old Dominion, and to give their opportunity to this offense. Granted, they're going to be stuck. They're going to be coming out. But being able to hold up and come away with that takeaway is going to give this defense and this team life. Williams on second and ten. Blitz comes. Williams throws it across the middle. And that's picked off. Kyle Bailey, true freshman, backup safety with his first career interception. White to the end zone. It's caught. Cameron Eccles Looper with his helmet flying off. His first touchdown grab of the year. And the Hilltoppers have their first lead of the game. What a throw by White, but once again, great formation, great call. And, and nice job by Mike White. He knew where he was going with the football, but he looked it off and then turned his head back to the right in order to get it to, to Looper. Now there's a reason NFL scouts have been looking at Mike White. He's stuck, but they've got him at the 14 on a third and two. Blitz comes, Lowry into space. Second touchdown of the game for Lowry. Great opening drive for the Monarchs, and it's a 14-yard score. An ODU first, Western Kentucky answered. Western Kentucky, the last touchdown before the half, and that's a fumble. The second turnover of the game, except Yelder might have gotten it back. He did. 
Now he lost it in the scrum. It's Monarchs football. Pat Toll Jr. The 315 pound defensive tackle with the fumble recovery. And the Monarchs are set up in the red zone. And it is a this to give the Monarchs the lead. And he's got it. To not think and just react and play football and it's paying off with the ground game. Back to pass here on second and eight. Takes a shot, has a completion. Kevin Todd Jr. with his second grab of the game. 16 yards and a first down. Great job getting through everything. You see Stephen Williams looking right, going through his progressions, buying himself a little bit of time, moving off of the mark, and, and hitting Kevin Todd right where it needed to be. And it's Lowry bursting through the middle, and he's gone. 46 yards to the house. So on first and 10. Pocket collapses. White in trouble, and down he goes. Tim Ward with the sack, the third of the night for the Monarchs. And second and eight, they can get a first down at the one. White to the end zone, it's caught. Touchdown to Karius Fant. Nine yard strike, and they're back within four. Great play design, they went back to it. Earlier in this drive, we saw Looper run the inside route. They hit Looper on it. This time, Looper runs that same exact route. The defensive backs take their eyes to Looper playing the inside. Fan is able to get around the backside, get over the top. and 8.58 to go in the fourth quarter. Freshman quarterback's been great tonight. Taking a shot for Harper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Drell Green on his 21st birthday. He's got his second pick of the season. Fourth. White to the air. Open receiver and the lead is gone. Quinn Jernigan on the catch. White's fifth touchdown pass of the night. When you're down in this position, you got to go for it. Williams on the option, keeps it himself. First down and more. Steven Williams picks up 12 and a huge. Hilltoppers bring pressure. Williams off his back foot. It's caught. Great strike to Jamonte Jackson, the running back. And it's first down after a 14-yard pickup. What a throw. He knows pressure's coming down in his face. Ball outside. Gets two feet in. Does he hold on to it, though? That's what they're looking at. He has it. They get a play. Williams being chased. Heaves it to the end zone. And it's intercepted. Laverick Johnson with the interception. And Western Kentucky with the comeback victory.